Hey guys, welcome to the episode of Real Northern Fishing. And today I'm going to be fishing by the lake again. Same lake as vlog one, but like we fished more to the creek part. Now we're just fishing straight into the lake with Andrew. You saw him in vlog one. Yeah, it's going to be a fun night. Nice night with the sun falling. Might be able to get some night top water action. Um, to start it off, I'm just fishing this lipless crankbait slowly because um, there's really cold water right now and the fish aren't going to be wanting to really eat anything. But hopefully this slow, subtle action will maybe cap, cap their attention. Um, soon it's going to be, the sun's going to start going down and I'll throw some top water. Hopefully get a top water bite, um, probably like a spook or something, yeah. Whacked that thing off a rock. I hammered it off a rock. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow! I just whacked this crankbait off the rock, and look what it did to the side of it. This is the good side. What's the side now? <laughs> you just see the straight lead. It just smashed. <laughs> I just hit it off a rock again, and um, I think it's done for a while. Messed it up pretty good. I think I'm gonna try crawling a jig for a while and then the top water. I'm just gonna creep this jig slowly along the bottom. No, you shouldn't throw a Texas rig. Get ready to throw some kind of popper or something. Top water. This kid, what's a popper? I'm gonna put that in the video. Andrew Rowell at his prime. Oh, don't break your rod, <laughs> smart one. That's legit right here. It's right there. <laughs> Are you still snagged? This kid. This kid. What, whatever, that crankbait's worth like one buck. Just cut it. Break it off, buddy. Alright, I've been fishing the jig for a while without a hit. Um... I'm not even sure what Andrew's doing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hook him up with a popper. Start trying to get some top water. I'm gonna switch to top water soon too. So yep. Uh, are you? Um, Andrew's gonna be using this popper. Are you excited, Andrew? First I'm ever excited. top water lure. Yeah. You think you're gonna get hit? Kind of looks like a shiner, I guess. Yeah. Let's do it. Look, mama hit my phone and said rap's no good. Better than it telling me the check's no good. Hey, I'm trying to buzz bait. Uh, Andrew's throwing a pot first. Sam's gonna throw. What are you gonna throw, SR Bassin? This frog. Right there. Frog. We get, the we're gonna get the top water, boys. Yeah. Look who showed up. SR Bassin, boy. Sam, you're my favorite. Thanks. You guys are all my favorites. What are you throwing? Hold on. Oh, oh, nice little popping frog. Oh, yeah. Show Dude, you we're going to get him on the top water. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Nice. I didn't even pay for this. My friend did. <laughs> he just kind of went to Walmart. <coughs> Mom gave him like 100 bucks. He just got a bunch of frogs. Wow, look what I just found. That's 10 cents right there. <laughs> Let's go. You know, when you, you don't got that much money for lures, you find the beer cans, get your ri stacked up pretty quick, man. Empty that. Oh, bet. What happened, Sam? <laughs> I was the only frog I got, and they kind of cast it, and it's uh... His line broke when he cast it, and his frog's just sitting out there in the middle of the lake. Okay, you're catching up with me. I'll try. Oh. Yeah, so SR Bassin, aka Sam, just tied, tied on a frog with a bad knot, and he cast it, and the thing just flew off his line, and it's just sitting out there. 
It's just sitting out there floating and he can't get it. He's so mad. We might be able to snag it. I